All right, Rochelle, this is 213 Peggy's Trace, and this is the two-story home. And if you look, you can see the uh, orange that uh, defines your actual property line there. And don't worry about the truck. that He won't be parked there when you come in uh, if you take this house. All right, so we're going to walk up the driveway. The uh, two windows above the garage will be uh, the two rooms for the two girls, and they are... Uh, the two bedrooms up there. Alright, so you got your little uh, porch area here. You got some nice stone detailing as you come through the front door. Notice that the front door is black and um, uh, a solid door. Um, I have spoken with Christina and uh, given that coming in, you have a little bit of um, shade coming in. It would be nice to have this door be a glass door or a glass insert, so we're going to talk about that. Um, you can ask for that. All right, this is your formal dining area in here. Looking out to the front, it's got the wainscoting and it's got, um, we call it a forest, uh, forest green, maybe a uh, forest emerald on the door. And then you have the nice dark laminate floor there um, coming in, which also goes out to the foyer. Okay. And then on the right hand side, you've got your half bath, which the light is off. Hold on. Oh, wait. The light is off because there is no power yet to this building. But you have a half bath, pedestal sink here, kind of grainy um, in the half bath. But this is good. You can see there's a good amount of light here even without the um, light. All right, here's your living area. you got the vaulted ceiling coming up. you got the window there, and so it's a little bit of privacy from your next-door neighbor. But you got the windows and the door out to the back area. We'll just go a quick all the way around to your kitchen, eat-in kitchen area there, and we'll come back and do the kitchen in detail, but just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. All right, walking back out to the back area here. One thing you will notice in the back area, it is all sand right now. However, it is definitely something to ask for um, with respect to being able to get some sod put down. That black, um, Fencing back there is uh, about the limits of your back lot, and then uh, you can see where the siding starts on the other side. The one thing that you could certainly ask for is the lot, and it does look like simply because your neighbor has a fence, you can actually finish the fence line around. Um, and since he's already started it, it shouldn't be too expensive to uh, finish it up. You get the side out here, you have a nice place for the girls to go run around. All right. There is a security system and uh, with the house, and then because it is a two-story house, you also have the split uh, heating and cooling on either side. Here's your heating and cooling system. Ooh, uh. All right, coming into the kitchen, the one thing about the kitchen is that the cabinetry is darker cabinetry. So um, I'm not sure which you prefer, but it is a darker um, cherry-type cabinetry. Goes all the way around. You do have the nice island with storage underneath in the center here. And like I said, you've got the nice eat-in kitchen um, all the way around. Behind me, these two double doors open up to a very large pantry. So you can see that there. It's actually quite large as you come in. And as we go into the hallway to the stairs for upstairs, you have another closet on your left-hand side here. And then you have the other area for your um, washer and dryer here on the other side. So decent amount of work um, workspace for you here. You've got the alarm system right here by your uh, entrance to the garage. And here is the garage, another large uh, garage area. The one thing on this one is that the walls are finished, but they are not painted, so you might want to throw a thing of primer on there. Is that something you can also ask the builder to do, throw a thing of primer on there for you. Okay. And we are now going up the stairs into the uh, bedroom area. The window on the stairs provides some light, and you can see it's getting a lot of good light even though we are um, with no electricity in the house right now. Going down the hallway to the front here as you come up, you've got one bedroom right here coming back around. you got a double doors, a very good size closet in here. You can see, I'm assuming this would probably be Kaya's room just because of the size of the closet. Um, Christina said you could ask the builder to put another set of shelves in before you move in so we could get that 
set up because I know Kai's got a lot of clothes, little princess. And uh, I, again, she's going to get a little welcome present too, so we get to add to that. All right, here's the other bedroom. It's a little bit smaller. In here, again, these are the bedrooms over the garage. And the closet is a little bit smaller um, in this room as well. All right, both rooms get a, a really good amount of light from the front there. And coming through, we've got the half bath. Again, we have no light in um, here because, oh, this one does have light. I'm sorry, downstairs does not have electricity. All right, and just a normal bathroom here for the girls. You've got your storage closet up here. Good, nice, wide storage closet, actually. And this is your other heating system um, for the upstairs. All right, this is the master bedroom uh, up here as well. The color, I'm calling it kind of a, um, a pale mocha, pale latte, maybe. It's not quite dark as a latte. Here's the closet here. And that is the security system, so there's a panel that it just needs to be put back on there. So nice open um, closet, space for actual furniture if you need to put it in here. Here is another uh, storage crawl space uh, as well if you needed it. But that's mostly access, so I don't think you're going to put too much storage there. All right, coming into the bathroom. You've got a little shelf here. You've got the deep, deep tub and the uh, mirrored glass there, the wavy glass over to provide privacy but light, which I actually really like a lot. You've got your cabinetry here, and then inside here you have the shower, full shower with the tile, backsplash and everything, and then the toilet, so there's a little bit of privacy there, actual privacy, privacy, um, in a door for that. Okay, coming back, and then the other thing you'll see, other nice feature is that there's a security system up top for arming um, up top so you can actually arm it right before you go to bed. All right, and that is our tour of the first house at uh, Peggy's Race. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.